Hello and welcome to a new player review. So I just finished with my rewards. I wasn't really planning on doing a review today, but uh, we were lucky in our rewards uh, from the last pack to pull this winter refresh, uh, Nathan Ake. So I thought before selling him, um, it was uh, kind of an opportunity to do a review on this guy and check him out because it looks like a really interesting card. Um, it's not a really big upgrade. He has an 80 base gold card, so it goes to an 84. Uh, we're talking about 30 base stats and about 120 in-game stats. Uh, enough to make him uh, more usable or usable than his gold card uh, in this current meta. Even at this lower rating, imagine if this card had like more rating to an 86 to an 87. Probably would have been a new Van Dyke or something like that. Uh, so, um, he's 180, so about 5'11". Uh, medium high work rates, uh, great work rates for your center back. Uh, left footed, two star skills, but three star weak foot. So uh, that's really nice there, at least with a weak foot. Uh, we check his detail and he has overall pace 83 with 83 acceleration, 83 spin speed, uh, an actual 83 overall, which is really nice. We already applied an anchor since the speed is uh, really nice and even there to go to 88 acceleration and 88 sprint speed, which should be enough. Um, no shooting at overall 57, uh, passing really low at 75 with uh, the important stats being vision at 70, short pass 82, uh, long pass 78 and curve 66. So just barely enough to make a, a pass there once you get the ball or intercept the ball with Ake, uh, just to pass it quickly to another teammate, uh, either up front to your uh, CDM or to the side to a fullback. Um, because of his vision and his low curve, um, probably only direct short uh, passes will be his ideal passing. Uh, dribbling overall 77, agility at 78 with balance 73, reactions 84, ball control 79, dribbling 73 and composure 81. Um, so it looks all right, uh, nothing really, really bad here. His agility is really nice at 78, paired with his high pace, uh, he should feel really nice on the ball. Good reactions, good composure. Uh, so all in all, I would say his dribbling is fine. Defending overall 85, we have uh, 85 interceptions to 90, heading uh, 79 to 89. Defensive, aw defensive awareness 86 to 96, standing tackle 86 to 96, and slide tackle 85 to 95. So this was another um, uh, thing where I wanted to choose the uh, anchor over the shadow. Uh, I wanted to get uh, more standing tackle on this Nathan Ake instead of interceptions. So the difference would have been in the shadow, you get plus 10 in interceptions, but plus five in standing tackle. Uh, and physical, overall 81 with jumping 90 to 99, stamina 78, which is enough. Strength 82 to 87, so we needed a bit more strength there and a bit more aggression from 77 to 87 because this is a, not a really tall guy. Uh, like I said, 5'11", 5'10", somewhere around there. Uh, the uh, more standing tackle, more aggression and more strength, I think will make a difference in this card. So all in all, it looks like a really, really nice card, especially for a Prem center back. Um, so I'm really excited to get him into the team. Uh, we get to use some other uh, special cards and this untradeable son that I have had for a while and I played a bit, mainly as a sub. Um, so let's go into a couple of games and try this uh, Nathan Ake out. All right, so here we go with our first team, a very nice hybrid of a few leagues, uh, Liga and Prem, La Liga, uh, what else? We have Coleman from Bundesliga, so a lot of leagues in there, very nice. Uh, we're going to go into this um, game in the 4-2-3-1 formation, and we're going to test out Winter Refresh, Nathan Ake, in the centre-back position. Oh, missed it there. No, missed it with Ake as well. Try to pass it again. Turn. There we go. Yes, good tackle there by Ake. Ah, missing that there. Good tackle there by Ake. Nice pass. Ake. Almost got it there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a nice goal, but. Ake. Get him. Good, good strength. Nice hockey. Great, great, great tackle there. Get him. Nice hockey again. Oh. Get him. Yes. 
this. Yeah, it's awesome, man. What a great header. Oh, how do they pass there? Ah, oh, come on. How do they pass under his foot there? Oh. Wow, okay. What a tackle. There we go, okay. Oh. Oh. Nice. Hit it. There we go. There's the goal now. All right, that was a great game. Uh, we ended up with a draw. Not bad, I would say. Uh, my opponent was really good. So, um, Nathan Ake, I think he did a fantastic job. Uh, let's see. No shots, nothing like that. Seven on seven passes, one on one dribble, and five on seven uh, tackles won. Uh, very nice completion there. Good rate. Um, no stamina really issues there. So, uh, good, good game. Let's go into another game and try him again. All right, so here we go with our second game. Uh, another Prem La Liga defense. Uh, Daniel James, Eden Hazard, good team, meta team. So we're going to go again in this game in the 4-2-3-1 formation uh, and we'll test out winter refresh Nathan Ake and the center back position. Oh, what a goal. <laughs> Playing, uh, you know, like beat soccer there with uh, Passing with headers. One, two, three, and goal. There he is. Yes, good marking there. Good to set. Ah, penalty. What the hell? It's, oh my god, what the hell is wrong with you? Nice, Aki. There it is, what a goal. Birdie, as soon as he got in. There we go, come on, okay. He can't go anywhere, that's it. There it is, nothing. There we go. Oh no. Nice, okay. Gets the header there. What? Nice, soccer, nice. Good pass. Another one, yes, there it is. There's the goal. <laughs> I'll take you like that as well. an asshole right there. It is. It's in the cut. There it is. Oh, come on. Let me have that goal. All right, we get the win. Uh, another nice, nice game. Uh, really good opponent. Back and forth. So um, another good performance by Ake. Uh, 7.9. Um, Nothing there. Five and six passes, six on six dribbles, and two on four tackles. Uh, quite a few interceptions, very, very crucial interceptions as well. So I'll know another good job by Nathan Ake. So let's go back and have a look at this card. So uh, few, uh, winter, winter refresh, I want to say future star. Winter refresh, Nathan Ake. Uh, played two games. I think he had a very good performance. Uh, he feels really fast, really rapid. Very agile. It's because of his sort of a small build. He's not uh, too tall. He's not too short. He's like, like I said, like 5'11". So, but he feels really, really fast. Uh, so it's good when you miss the tackle. He's good to recover and chase after the ball. Uh, really fast. His passing was all right. Um, nothing too fancy there. Just direct uh, short passes, as short as possible, I want to say. Uh, dribbling was good on the ball. His defending was excellent. 
his interceptions and his standing tackle is great. Uh, his strength is really nice. Uh, he outmuscles most. He outmuscled most of the attackers that he was involved in with good aggression. His jumping is really really nice, although he's not that tall. Uh, he won I think one or two headers off uh, corners, um, so that was really really a plus there. They were really good plus there. Um, all in all, I would say this is a really really nice card, um, especially for a prem. Now in the prem, you don't have well you have quite a few special cards. Uh, but you don't have that many available on the market. Uh, now, if you go past uh, Van Dyke, which obviously is, I think, the number one defender uh, in this meta for FIFA, uh, his gold card is still at 600k. Uh, so after that, there were a few special cards like that David Luiz at 600k, um, a few more like I think it was Player Moments, uh, Fed Bien Sar, I think. Uh, which is a great card that I did. It's a great defender for about 140k. Um, I think the only good special card uh, at the market right now is going to be that Tomori card, which apparently is a really, really good card, but he's at 600k as well. So every defender that is available uh, on the market is at 600k. The only other good defender maybe, but I haven't seen him played at all, is going to be uh, Otamendi, that Scream Otamendi. But like I said, I've not seen him, I've not come against him, so I don't know, maybe that, that card is not that good, but that card is still at 200k. This card at the moment is about 140k, um, and I think this is a great deal uh, of a card for 140k uh, that you can buy right now, because like I said, your options are limited uh, as far as uh, cards that you need to buy right now uh, and to get uh, as a Prem defender on your team. Uh, I think it's a good price to pay for this card, uh, I think it deserves it and it's a good card to pay. Now if you're looking for a defender, I don't think you need to pay 140k to get this 84 Nathan Ake. It's a good card, uh, it does uh, its job really well, but like I said uh, yesterday I did a review on this Gabrielson that I got and this Gabrielson you can get for free basically, just some time wasted. And this Gabrielson is a way way better card than Nathan Ake. Um, and like I said, you can get him for free and I will even play him um, at 8 chem uh, or 7 chem, uh, probably 8 chem with a manager. So I would much rather prefer to play this guy instead of playing 140k to buy a card like this when I have a free card offered for me. And also uh, don't forget that at the end of this season objectives, you can get another great uh, center back as it looks on the face stats, which is going to be a Kanji from uh, uh, Bundesliga. And again, that looks like another fantastic card um, that you can get for free. So uh, I don't know if you need to be paying um, uh, coins right now to buy a center back with uh, a few options offered that are for free and they're good center backs. Now, if you need a center back for the Prem, like I said, uh, then this is definitely your guy. Uh, I will pay 140K and get this guy in my team. So this is gonna be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.